Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. Got a great video for you today. It's a, uh, oh, I don't want to say it's an unboxing. I already opened up the package because I was so excited to see what was in there. But uh, I got some custom blades with some custom sheaths and I want to give you guys a look at them. Uh, my buddy Corey Alexander did all the sheath work over at Socorro Leatherworks. Give, him, give his uh, Facebook page a look. I can't even talk now. Uh, his Facebook page, uh, Socorro Leatherworks. He also on Instagram. Uh, Socorro Leatherworks, and then uh, my buddy John over at JS Knife Works, uh, who was just recently on Forge and Fire, actually uh, made all three of these blades. Uh, so let's get into it real quick. Right here's the first one I got. This is a awesome custom blade with a custom sheath, obviously. Like I said, uh, Socorro Leatherworks, right there on the logo. It's got a nice belt clip on the back, with the American flag stamped in here. Very nice sheath. This blade is 1095 high carbon steel. Um, don't know what the thickness is on it. I didn't measure it. Um, been used a little bit, but uh, it's, it's what we, you know, it's what we got them for, right? Check that out. Nice micarta scales, sculpted and shaped. That's I said it's every bit of a quarter inch thick. Guess I should have took some measurements, but I just got it. I was excited. I wanted to get this video made. Look at that, a beautiful knife. Uh, Picked this up off of Corey. John made it for Corey, and then I bought it off of Corey because uh, I liked it. Very nice. Super sharp. Everything I've gotten from John over at JS has been ridiculously sharp. And I'll tell you a little story when I get to the third knife about that. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool blade. I really dig it. Uh, feels really good in the hand. Um, reverse grip, too. Great sheath. Um, matches up very nice to the handle so that's awesome um this next knife i'm going to show you the next two knives i'm going to show you uh actually um well the small one that i'm going to show you i drew up and designed um but i didn't in my knife making skills i didn't have the ability to pull this off so i sourced it out to john over at js knife works and of course i had Corey make the sheath for me um i drew this up I can't draw very well, but uh, John did a very, he did an awesome job of um, bringing my drawing to life. And uh, man, I and, I and I love this shape. And after he made it, we were talking and it was like, you know what? We need a big version of this knife as well. And uh, we tweaked a few things, talked about it. And, you know, he had a couple of little ideas and stuff. And we, we tweaked it a little bit and uh, for the big version and it's wicked so i mean check this out look at this sheath that beautiful leather work right there it's got like this nice like crack leather look to it got a nice low low i'd say it's like a dangler belt loop i like my knives ride, ride low on my belt um so i can get to them easier they're out of the way man let's get this blade out though Got a nice little look, hook over there to, to secure it in there. Check out this blade. Look at this. This is 80 CRV2 steel. It's about a four inch blade with about a four inch handle. Brown micarta, I think it's, or is it red micarta? Red micarta with black G10 tube liners, black G10 uh, uh, handle liner. Look at this. Man, I love this design. I drew it up. I had this vision in my head and I was like, man, I just, and part of the thing I like about it is this deep choil right here because then when you grab it, your finger comes right in there and then the edge of the blade becomes like a perfect extension of your hand, um, no matter which, you know, either hand you grab it on. So like if you're having to do some slashing cuts or whatever, it's just naturally in line with your hand. Uh, you come to stab, you have to come up and stab something, it's going to... You're going to come in straight, but then it's going to angle up and you're going to get maximum damage if you needed to use it for a self-defense situation. Uh, you come in a reverse grip, you can put your thumb over the top here, and then there it is. It's like just, if you had to slice this way, it's just a natural extension from your hand. You can see that. Um, got to do some push cuts. You can put your thumb right over the top here, kind of locks it in right here. Got slight... Uh, that's not really a swedge, but there is some contouring here, but it's nothing sharp. It feels good. You can put your thumb right here and you can just come in and do your slice cuts, push cuts if you need to. 
Uh, I think it's just kind of a good EDC four inch blade. Um, you can use it for self defense or you can probably use it for any other type of task that you need a knife for. Um, I am going to be getting out and doing some cutting videos with this, uh, cutting some stuff with it, uh, st stabbing a phone book with it, you know, show the penetration of this, the tip on this and uh, the sharpness of this. I mean, this blade's wicked sharp. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get outside and do that video. Uh, it's going to be awesome. But John really did bring that vision to life, man. And uh, this this blade is really cool, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes, where we go with this one. But yeah, look at that, awesome, beautiful sheath, beautiful knife. Now let's get into the big boy, uh, man. This thing is awesome too. Let's check it. This one is set up strictly as a baldric carry because it's so large. But look at this leather; matches perfectly with the smaller one. Got a nice retention strap, which is actually dual sided. So depending on whether you're left or right handed, you can, if you got to carry it over your shoulder this way, it's good to go. Or if you got to carry carry it this way, you're good. Um, it's got its logo on the back here with two American flags stamped on there. Yeah, very very beautiful work. It's got nice metal clips on the on the strap. So show you give you an idea of what this looks like. Slap this over your arm, shoulder like that, and then bam, you're just carrying the knife. You're out, you're out on the hike, got your blade right here. It's out of the way, it's not catching on bushes and trees, and you can pop this snap off and draw it, and bam, you're in business. But look at this massive beast. So one of the, couple of the kind of design uh, ideas that John had was adding these uh, gut hooks on here. It's like if you had to stab into, let's say a bear was attacking, you stabbed into a bear, and you go to draw the blade out, and I hope that never happens to anybody because, let's face it, I don't think any of us can beat a bear. Uh, this would essentially grab onto the entrails of the bear or something, pull it out. That's originally, I think, what gut hooks were designed for. Um, maximum damage. But it just it's a cool design feature more than anything on this. It looks really cool. Again, you have that deep finger choil here. This is every bit of a 12 inch from, I think it's from here to here. I measured it out, it's like 12 inches. Uh, straight and then handle wise you're looking about six inch five and a half six inch handle um pad up i think it's pad up wood handles with a stainless steel tube liners but again you got this nice deep choil for your hand again locks in extension of your hand so you're slicing chopping trees down with this bad boy look at this i mean this thing look, here's my arm my forearm it's it's as long as my arm is <laughs> so i mean it's just and it's about two two i think it's 2.1 2.2 pounds uh show you something else that's pretty cool another cool thing about this is when it because it's snapped on this side whenever you pop it off you can just rotate it down it's out of the way you don't have to worry about cutting it um slide this back in so this is a two pound 2.1 pound knife look at the retention on the sheath even without the strap Look at it, I'm shaking this. It's not coming out. I'm not pinching it up here either. I'm grabbing it from the strap. There, it's barely, now it's finally starting to wiggle out. But I mean, that's some pretty good retention on a leather sheath without this strap on there. So um, I imagine over time, taking the knife in and out, it's gonna loosen up and you will definitely have to use a strap, the, the strap here. But I mean, yeah, it's just a nice tight sheath. Fits really good to the blade. Um, totally matches up with this one. I mean, man, it's just look at this. I mean, look at that. That is just this is wicked, man. And I love it. And then you team that team that big boy up with this guy. So you got this on your belt, and you're carrying that Baldry. I mean, you got two knives that are perfectly capable of doing anything you need around camp when you're out hiking, camping. Uh, hanging out by the trailer glamping if you will um, And then you go out and you got a nice EDC knife. You got a nice big boy knife to get your big boy work done uh, Got a excessively large tri-tip that you got to cut up Got it covered so uh, Hey John over at JS Knifeworks Thank you, sir. You killed it with these with making these blades for me Corey Killed it with the sheaths. I mean, I love the sheaths. I love how they match. 
Um, I mean, it's just, this is what I was wanting. This is, you know, I, I love these designs. I love the sheaths and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting out and using them. Uh, I am looking forward to getting out and making, I'm gonna make a video using this, chopping up some stuff. I'm gonna make a video using this, cutting up some stuff. You know, so we can see the actual usefulness of these blades. And then I'm also really looking forward to getting this bad boy out and trying it out. I mean, this just happened to come up for sale and I just really like the design of it and uh, picked it up and, and I'm glad I did because this is a beautiful knife too. Um, you guys get a chance, like I said, go check out JS Knife Works on Facebook. Go check out Socorro Leatherworks on Facebook. I mean, they're just they're making these guys are making good stuff man great stuff so hey thanks for watching i'm really looking forward to getting out and making a video for you guys on these and uh you guys stay safe stay sharp and we will see you soon